Hi, uh, my name is Anish Pradeep. Uh, I came to Kazakhstan almost eight years ago. Uh, I work here as a teacher. Uh, I teach uh, kids from age uh, 14 to 18. Eight years ago, uh, I graduated from University of Nottingham in UK. And once when I was when I graduated from that university, one of my professors came to Kazakhstan and he had a great experience. So when he came back, uh, he was discussing about Kazakhstan, his experience in Kazakhstan. The place was amazing. So when I got an opportunity, I was going through all the job listings in Kazakhstan. Uh, I had an opportunity to come to Kazakhstan eight years ago. Uh, first, when I came, I was I came to Almaty in Kazakhstan. I was working as a senior lecturer uh, at Kazakh British Technical University, amazing university. And after three years, I moved to Aktobe to teach in a school. Working with locals, it's amazing. It's a very great experience for me and the local people. Uh, I can learn a lot from local citizens about their culture, their language. And even when I teach in the lesson, I'm not teaching alone. We follow a strategy of team teaching. So one local Kazakh teacher and me, we teach together in English so that both of us can learn from each other and improve. Uh, it's always amazing to work. Uh, they always uh, listen what I have to say, even if they have any problems they discuss with me. Same from me also. They always try to help me if I have any issues. And we always uh, share our experiences and they are always curious about my life abroad. Uh, they, for, me, for them, I'm like a window to India. All, all the questions they had about India, they always asked me when I came. Since even any questions, or any doubts or any confusion they have about India, I'm the first four person they ask any questions. Working with them is amazing. They consider me as a colleague and more as a friend. They invite me for all their weddings, the child's birthday party, uh, group party, evening party, even Friday evening parties. They always try to include me so that I don't feel alienated or I f they always try to make me feel comfortable, not as a foreigner who's living here. The biggest culture shock, I would say, uh, eating horse. Eight years ago when I came, um, one of my colleagues from the university asked, let's go out, let's go have some Kazakh traditional food. I'm like, yes, let's go, let's try. And the person said, let's try Bishparmak. That's the most uh, traditional and respected food in Kazakhstan. Uh, I think that person missed to tell me that that food was made out of horse. Um, the food was tasty, the meat was tasty. It, it, in India, people put a lot of food, masala, all those things in uh, the food while cooking. But in Kazakhstan, it's very less. They, they mainly focus on the dish. There's no masala, minimum salt, minimum spices, minimum pepper, no spicy at all. So once I had the dish, the person said that this is made from horse meat. And I was like, whoa, people eat horse. Uh, but now living here, I almost eat it every month. It's like a part of my life now. So eating horse was a big culture shock for me because I come from uh, Kerala in India. It's the southern south part of India and we have maybe 10 horses for the whole state. And uh, for me, it was a, a surprise. People here also have a misconception about what Indians eat. Uh, eight years in Kazakhstan, I have heard at least the same question 25 times. They always ask, do you eat elephant in India? I'm like, no, we, we don't eat elephants in India. So it definitely, definitely the culture shock was uh, the food. My favorite culture, the traditional Kazakh dish is uh, Bishparmak and the Mante. Uh, Bishparmak is the traditional food, as I said before, it's made out of uh, onions, potato, pasta, and uh, mainly horse meat. Uh, some places in Kazakhstan use horse meat. There are states in Kazakhstan that replace horse meat with fish. Some of them use beef. Uh, but if you're going for a traditional uh, party or if people are inviting you as a guest to their home, they usually prepare this dish for you. So Kazakh dish, uh, I would recommend you to try uh, Bishparmak. Hospitality is the major, uh, major aspect of Kazakh uh, culture. I mean, they accept foreigner here like one of them. For example, if you go to Dubai or any place, you keep a, you don't have that much friendly relationship with the locals. But here is a completely different story. They invite you home. 
it's a part of their culture to invite you home. You don't feel surprised if you're walking in the street or if a taxi driver starts a small chit chat and within five minutes they say, I want to invite you to my home. Let's eat Vishpalmak. I want to introduce to my family, have a small conversation, have a beer. So a, hospitality is a major trend, in, not trend, major part of Kazakhstan uh, culture. A story I would like to share is again, when I came to Kazakhstan, uh, some of my colleagues invited me to their house. I go there, um, I sit on the table, the table is full of dishes and foods, snacks, cakes, everything. So I was asking that person, is it just me or someone else is coming after me? That, and the host said that all this is just for me. So they keep on feeding me, feeding me, asking questions to make sure if I'm comfortable with the atmosphere. Once the dish, all the dishes are finished, they said, let's go to the next step. They bring more food, more food. They make sure that you enjoy all the Kazakh dishes and you make sure that your stomach is super full. So that's uh, one of the stories I have for you regarding hospitality in Kazakhstan. One more story which is very important is people always try to help you. Even in the street, it doesn't matter if it's a very busy metropolitan city like Astana or even a small state, more small city like Aktobe, people always try to help you. Even if it doesn't, they don't speak, some of them don't speak uh, English very well, they will try to show with their body language, they ask you what's the problem and always try to help you. This is why I stayed in Kazakhstan. I mean, the people are very polite. Uh, they always try to help support foreigners in Kazakhstan. A few words uh, in Kazakh language. My Kazakh language is not that good. I speak uh, a bit of Russian because when I came to Kazakhstan for the first time, uh, I worked in Almaty and most of my colleagues spoke in Russian most of the time. So I listened and learned from them. But in Aktobe, most of my colleagues, they speak in Kazakh language. Uh, so I'm trying to pick up some words. I know Salim, Rahmet, um, Bir, Ek, Ush, that's one, two, three. Su, that's Vada. What else? Uh, Salim, that's Salim. Salim. So as I said, Salim is for informal and Salim, that's is for a formal one. Um, then all the foreigners have a kind of joke. Uh, we always, not always, sometimes for joke we say to our colleagues, Aksha Jok. Aksha Jok is like a funny way of saying no money. Uh, it, it doesn't matter if you have money or not. You, you have a conversation and some topic comes relating to money, you just say Aksha Jok and everybody laughs around because that's a bit funny way of saying you don't have any money. Appa, Appa, Appai. Appa means uh, someone who is old. Um, so sometimes when I go to local markets, I, I, I can ask them, Kancha Appa, when I'm buying something, you say, how much is it, Appa? I know Appai, Appai is for teacher, because I'm working in a school, I see local uh, small kids calling teachers, Appai, Appai. So these are some words, uh, I'm planning myself to take some courses in Kazakh language, improve the language, because anyway, I'm going to stay here for a very long time. So learning Kazakh language is a good thing. So if you're coming to Kazakhstan, if you know Russian, it's not going to be a problem. But if you speak Kazakh language with locals, uh, it's going to make them happy and they're going to help and support you in any way. The positive things of living in Kazakhstan, positive negative. Positive, I would say the people, that's amazing. Otherwise, I, I would have left this place long time ago. The climate, uh, I lived in Dubai and India before. It's too hot. The, the climate, it depends where you stay in Kazakhstan. If you stay in Almaty, it's not that cold. It can go to minus 5, minus 10. But if you really like cold weather, you can go to Astana or Almaty. Those are extremely cold. For example, here it can go to up to up to minus 35 with heavy wind. So it depends if you like cold, that's a positive aspect, such as for me. But if you hate cold, that's a negative aspect. Another positive aspect is uh, there are a lot of touristic places in Kazakhstan where you can travel for cheap because the currency doesn't have doesn't hold the value very much. So you, even you convert it to dollar, the prices are very cheap to travel within Kazakhstan. And even buying products, it's super cheap. You can buy any, it's going to be cheap that when you compare to US, UK, even India, some products are very cheap in Kazakhstan. So that's a positive aspect. Uh, the negative aspect is language. Uh, if, if you don't speak Russian or Kazakh at all, you're going to struggle. What else negative aspect? You need to be very patient. Uh, the queue system. 
I'm very patient because I'm coming from India. There's no queue system driving the road is difficult in India. So I have learned my lessons, but if people are coming from the States or the Europe, you need to have a lot of patience to get something done. You need to wait a lot. So that's one negative aspect uh, living in Kazakhstan. The main advice I can try, I can give you for traveling to Kazakhstan is one, uh, bring, don't bring clothes from your country. I know that it's going to be very cold. It's better to come to Kazakhstan and buy a good jacket or winter clothes because here it's cheap and here you can buy cool jackets that are thick enough for the Kazakhstan um, climate because if you're going to buy a very thick jacket from US or UK, it's going to cost like 500, 600 US dollars. It's going to add weight to your baggage and when you come to Kazakhstan, it's not going to help you because Kazakhstan winter is a very strong winter. Second uh, advice I, would, I want to give you is come here with an open mind. You need to have a mentality to learn the language, understand the people, accept the differences, different culture, different society, different food. Uh, if you live in Almaty and Astana, you can have a feeling of uh, Western influences. But if you're staying in a city like Aktobe or different far away from metropolitan cities, you don't have any Western influences here. You can't buy Western products. Maybe you can import, but import products from other countries, but the shipping charges are like 100, 200 US dollars. So you need to come here with an open mind. Coming to Kazakhstan is good for people who want to get involved with the culture, uh, enjoy new things. Uh, then you will really enjoy your life in Kazakhstan. In my native language, uh, my native language is uh, Malayalam. Malayalam is spoken in Kerala. Kerala in the video Kazakhstan Veran Kazakhstan Veran and Dinglum chance on Dingle Vernum Jolly Kitan Padana and I'll Jolly Kitan Angle Jividam Corpula the Munota Pogum Paisa Urupa the Save Jambatim Karnam Shambulam Corpula local salary with Yasaman with Asia upon Shambulam Dollar Lam Kitan Angle Jiva Chala Walda Koravana, Mani Savian Patim, Natli Kaikam Patim, Kerala Tilin, Aringle Vero Anangil, Devai Kamandiga, Enakunda Patin on Dingle, Nan Sahai Kam, Advice Saram, Kazakhstan, Malayalik Walda Koravana, Almati, Astana, City, Lodbad, Malayalik Londe, Aktobele, Nan Ural Matra Ulu, Ote Malayali. Vernam, Kazakhstan, Vernam, Talpiru, Nengle, Nengle, Paraya, Kamen, Diega, Engine, Nengle, 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 Thank you for uh, watching. Uh, so I usually make videos from, from for other foreigners. I have a playlist. I will link the below. Link them below. You can see the 10 questions from other expats living in Kazakhstan. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to click like. And if you want me to interview more foreigners living in uh, Kazakhstan, Please subscribe to see them. See you soon. Goodbye.